Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of uh, Football Manager 2014 with Werder Bremen, where we look to revive a giant. That's what I'm kind of basing this series around. Uh, Werder Bremen, an ex-giant in the German leagues that have been going through a bit of a downturn lately. So that's what we intend to get the back up to the heights of the top of the German first division. Got a lot of things to cover in this video, as you can see it's the 2nd of November, the last time I um, joined you guys with an introduction video, that was around the 9th of July, so we've got all the pre-season and the transfers, and then getting into the start of uh, regular season, before live commentary against Freiburg away from home. So firstly we'll get into the transfers, there wasn't much to be doing, in terms of transfers, a whole rake of, well not a whole rake of guys, a, a few guys went out on loan, like Simo Pakrocker, Alexander Stefanovic, Levant Asisic, Tom Tribal, and Felix Cruz. Coming in, only one guy, Franco Zuccolini, um, possibly the best free transfer on the game, if you're asking me. For a guy that can like just fit in. Like him up there with people like Antonio Dan, really good player, three and a half star, which is he's just a very solid player. He can play in a f few positions as well, which is great, great um, depth. And if you saw it here, we did manage also to confirm the signing of Gabriel Barboza from Santos for one point nine million. He joins next summer because he's only seventeen and. Isn't it a rule that they have to be 18, I think, to come over? Yeah. Well, anyway, he scored 13 goals, 9 assists for Santos in the 40 games of the Brazilian First Division so far this year. So I'm really uh, looking forward to bringing him in. He's one of the wonder kids on game, so I'm really looking forward to bringing him in. So that is the end of the transfers. We'll just uh, quickly glance through pre-season. Drew 0 nil with Tigre, lost 1 nil to Stau, beat Jenna 3 nil, beat USV Allerhelgen 3 2, Franco de Santo, uh, Leukemia, uh, and a no goal. And then we lost to Red Bull Sir Salzburg 1 nil, which wasn't very good. We then beat BFC Dynamo in the German Cup first round 1 nil, Oskan Yildirim with a goal, then lost to Leverkusen in the first game. Of the first German First Division. Uh, Niels Peterson scoring for us but is in a losing cause. We then lost to Hertha Berlin 2-0. Then beat Dortmund 1-0 though. Niels Peterson with the only goal of the game. Which is a good win. But then lost to Hanover 1-0. Which is disappointing. Beat Stuttgart 3-2. 2 for Ekesi. 1 for Zuccolini. Machiaidi with an injury. Clement Fritz with an own goal. Lost 1-0 to Bayern which is expected. Crashed out of the German Cup in the second round against Cologne. Um, 3 0 is a, dis a very disappointing result. Os uh, Oscar Nielidrim with a knock, but uh, no Cup success this time round for ourselves. And lost 3 1 to Hoffenheim, so we've gone through a real kind of patchy spell there. Three losses in on the trot. Leisure Elia with the only goal for ourselves, but he picked up an injury as well in that game. Then did bounce back though with a 3 0 win over. Branch Quig, um, a hat trick from Franco de Santo, then beat Nuremberg 2 0. Uh, Clement Fritz and Aaron Hunt picked up knocks. Aaron Hunt missed a penalty. Franco de Santo and Zlatko Junasovic scoring. And we did beat, in our latest game, we did beat Frankfurt 1 0. Niels Peterson with a knock. Oscan Yilidrum with a goal. So overall, that does leave us in 7th spot in the league, and we'll just do it that. So, 10 games in, 5 wins, 5 defeats. Um, we don't seem to be a team that does much in the middle. Um, Bayern have kind of soared away already, the ten, played 10, won 9, lost 1, 27 points. They're already 10 points ahead of Dortmund in 2nd, so it's going to be very hard to catch Bayern. If you have a look at the rules, what we need to do to get into Europe is, I think, sixth position guarantees it. Um, sixth guarantee, 
Six guarantees European football. And that's what we're aiming for. And we're currently in seventh. So, we're, we're in and amongst it there. Yeah, let's have a quick quick look at the squad overview. Most appearances, uh, Sebastian Militz in goal. Most goals, Franco De Santo with four. Oscar Nielidrum, Niels Peterson and Ekasi both all on two. Franco De Santo with the most assists as well. So he's got four goals, four assists. Everybody else has got either one or none. And best average rating is Santiago Garcia Arloni from <coughs> Palermo. He's a really good player. I, I was so surprised that like Palermo loaned him out. Palermo aren't even that good at seeing. Adrian Sovage is there. Franco Zuccolini has done well as well. But anyway, we'll head into today's game, which is now away at Freiburg. Um, and I've picked the team already. The team is Melitz, a back four Garcia, Calderola, Prodrill and Fritz, Ignowski, Junasovic, Zuccolini, Yeladrum, Elia and Asanto. Just standard bands, no instructions at the moment. That's, I suppose, a bit odd. But anyway, um, I'm just going to sort this out, see what it's like. I'm going to bring that down. Uh, we'll have goals, but on 2D Classic. It's an airplane, just a 4 4 2. Um, we'll get in, get some advice from. Oh, that's, that's not great, is it? Yeah, there we go. Much better. Um, go out and give the fans their money's worth. Uh, Santiago Garcia looks to gain confidence. Um, well, not the best team talk. As you can see, I've got a new skin here. This is the Burkamp version 5, I believe. Transparent. I think that's what it's called. You can get it on... You can either download it through like uh, FM Scout or FM Base or... I think you can get it even on the Steam Workshop. And actually, if it comes on the Steam Workshop, get it from there. It's just so much more easy. You just, um, if you don't know what to do, let's see, it's Egan Hedenstad. Get it out. Yeah, well done. If you don't know what to do, it's just um, subscribe to the item on the Steam Workshop. That's a good save. Uh, subscribe to the item on the script. Steam Workshop, then uh, load up Football Manager, go into Downloads, it will come up, say Install, and then you go into your preferences and change the skin. And it's much much easier, like then, if you um, download it from one of the FM Scouts or FM Bases, but then again, FM Scout and FM Base do give you a much wider range of skins, so it depends which way you want to go with it. But anyway, uh, Pilar now. Oh no. Militz, he hasn't even had that bad a season, Militz. He's been pretty solid in goal. And he just goes and. Well, he didn't catch the ball, he dropped it. Oh my god. Well, that is not good. It's about to say it was a fairly drab first half coming to a close. But in the end, that's well, not good. Not good at all. We're going to have to go attacking. Maybe look into some possible changes. And uh, Maki ID, he's pretty good, isn't he? Yeah, so we're going to bring him on for Junas. Jusinovic, and we'll swap him with Zuccolini if we can. There we go, my god. Uh, for, uh, that's all we're going to do for now. We'll head into this second half looking to um, turn around our deficit here, but it's just not going according to plan today. And we're going to have to. It's an injury there to Zuccolini, so Mehmet Ekasi is going to have to come on. We're going to switch him to an advanced playmaker attack. Um, just to kind of freshen things. Freshen things up. <coughs> just gives us also maybe a bit more strength going forward. We're going to switch it on to overload. <coughs> Sorry about that. Just nothing happening today. Nothing at all. So. Put him up there.
Well, this has been a very disappointing game for ourselves because um, we've been on a bit of a good run, actually. But it does look like our goalkeeper's mistake has cost us and everything today, which is a real shame. So, um... That is a disappointing loss, but on the whole it has been a solid start. We did drop to 10th with that defeat, but it's very tight at the moment. Um, this series, it's going to be more... Like, the updates will be more kind of this sort of length, not compact. So I will come back for the Dortmund away game. Um, <coughs> the 1st of February. Um, over in Germany, it's never as compact over Christmas, because... Um, every year they have this kind of break from mm, just before Christmas Day. So usually it goes on 22nd or 23rd. And they have like a month's break. So, anyway. Have to look into that. But it's been, I know, it's been a solid start, I would have thought. A bit inconsistent, but a solid start. And we'll see you guys back here for the third episode against Dortmund away and um, if you like this series give it a give it a thumbs up and comment if you can and subscribe to the channel bye